الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم and the sweet Islam brothers and let's recite the rudan salam upon the beloved and blessed prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam salatu wa salamu alayki ya rasulullah wa ala alika wa ashabika ya habib allah salatu wa salamu alayki ya nabi allah wa ala alika wa ashabika ya nur allah نويت سنة الاعتكاف. The beloved Rasul صلى الله تعالى عليه وآله وسلم has stated, recite salat abundantly upon me. Without doubt, it is purification for you. صلوا على الحبيب صلى الله تعالى على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم. In the book called Righteousness, on page three hundred thirty-eight. One should reform others instead of criticizing them. You know, sometimes we come across someone's making a mistake, whether in salah, he's not positioning his feet correctly, he's not performing his ruku or sujood, or he's reading so fast that you may think that he's not in salah. So someone might not have a hat on his head, and uh, you probably want him to have a hat on his head. You might just go and get the hat from the basket, and just put it on his head. We need to learn some etiquettes. How can we we can reform people politely and do it in such a way that they don't leave the masjid? Like there was a parable on Madani Channel, and there was a small child. He had the jazba of coming to the masjid, and apparently he came to the first saf, the saf that we have here. And there was a buzurg. He grabbed him by the arm. He pulled him straight to the back. And what he did is, he didn't even read the salah. He just walked off, took his hat off, threw it in the basket and left the masjid. So there are scenarios like this. Sometimes we have to be very delicate with children as well. And you know, there's no harm in having children in the first, first surf, if they wanted to be in the first surf. And we should be polite with them like we pol- be polite with elder people as well. You know, and sometimes, you know, in the Nek Kamal, the pious deeds, it mentions that even if you talk to a baby like an adult, you teach it words, it's going to talk back the same way that you've taught it. Yeah? So we have to use good words. Here it mentions, dear Islam brothers, you may have seen that the religious guides of millions of Shafi'i, Muslims, Sayyidina Muhammad bin Idris, famously known as Imam Shafi'i rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi made individual effort very affectionately and gently, conveying the call to righteousness to a young man who was not making wudu properly. Those reforming him, if only we would also succeed in following his footsteps. If we ever see someone making a mistake in wudu or salah or committing sins such as lying, backbiting, tale-telling, we should attempt to rescue him from the mire of sins. Rather than jumping into the pit, of backbiting by unreasonably criticizing him behind his back. If only we would advise him very affectionately and gaining the treasures of rich reward in the afterlife. If we advise anyone sincerely with good intentions, it will certainly bear fruits, insha'Allah. In his truthful book, Allah has already declared that advice produces benefit. Stated below in the context is the 55 ayah of Surah Az Zariyat with the translation from page 964 of the sacred Qanzal Iman Khazain al Irfan, published by Maktabatul Madina, the publishing department of Dawt e Islami. Allah has said in part 27 and give advice because advising benefits the Muslims. And there's a couplet here that mentions, May everyone listen to my call towards righteousness wholeheartedly. May my speech, may my speeches and writing have impact on them, O Creator Azza wa Jal, bestow grace on us. So my dear Islam brothers, 
sometimes you might come across individuals that might say, look, don't advise him. He's gone off the tracks. He's gone off the rails. But like we've heard from the, the ayat of the Quran, that we should advise. We should call them towards righteousness, inshallah. And inshallah, leave the rest to Allah Azza wa Jal. You know, there's another parable that's just come to my mind, you know, regarding rectification. Yeah, and this, might, this parable might make us, you know, understand. Um, regarding Hassan and Hussein, the, there was a Bedouin who came. He didn't know how to perform wudu correctly. So they seen him and they want to, rectif they want to rectify this Bedouin. But the way they didn't, they didn't do it through speech. But they did it to, through example. After that Bedouin completed his wudu, they said to the Bedouin, uh, would you have a look at how we perform wudu? Maybe we make mistakes and you can help us take our mistakes out. So they started performing wudu in front of the Bedouin. The Bedouin, the Bedouin realized these two individuals, mashaAllah, are uh, rectifying my mistakes of wudu. But they didn't offend him, but look at the way they did it. If you see someone who's making a mistake in Salah that he's not performing his sujood, uh, his feet positioning is incorrect. Like I did with one of the imams, right? He mistakenly raised his foot. But it wasn't deliberately, normally he would put his foot down. So I asked the Imam Saab, um, I don't know if I'm performing my sujood correctly, but you have a look, Imam Saab. So I went to sujood, do I put my feet like this or do I put them like this? How do I put them? So he corrected my feet and he positioned them and he realized what he did. So that rectified him without me telling him. So we have to be careful how we do things with certain individuals. Because a lot of us, we've got rage. We get upset straight away. Even though we're trying to save them from the fire of hell. We want to take them to paradise. But they don't realize this. You know, he's trying to tell me. He's trying to tell me yeah, how he's done. Yeah, we get like angry. So these are some of the techniques that we mentioned. If we learn in the correct manner, inshallah, I'm hoping that inshallah we can do people's salah. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. My dear Islam brothers, as you know, we have the weekly sunnah inspiring each thema. Every Thursday at 8 p.m. It's a monthly request, inshallah. Give this nekigi dawat. Yeah, call people towards righteousness. And inshallah, on Thursday, 8 p.m., be here yourself and invite others. Ameen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidil Mursaleen. Jazallahu anna Muhammad al mahu wa ahluh. Bismillahi ala deeni, bismillahi ala nafsi. Wa wuldi wa ahli wa mali. O oh Allah Azzawajal, accept our Salat al zuhur Accept the short dars, the method we have learned from the pious predecessors of Islam. How to rectify Muslims, Ya Allah Azzawajal. Sometimes our verbal speech offends people. Sometimes our actions offend others and it breaks their hearts. Ya Allah Azzawajal, give us the example of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and give us the ability to rectify people according to Islam. O oh Allah Azza wa Jal, give enlighten our hearts with the nur of Salah, the nur of Quran, and give us the ability to invite others towards the deen of Islam. O oh Allah Azza wa Jal, protect our Muslims around the globe who are affected by calamities, oppression, starvation. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, from wars. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, give us peace, tranquility all around the world. Ya Allah, guide our hukmaran, our leaders. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, who have caused this uh, uh, corruption all, all around the world. Uh, we have bad leaders, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, who are not helping the poor people. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, bless us with true Iman, protection of Iman, and death with Iman, and gain his closeness to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by sending salutations, by following the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, by following the, the commands of you, Ya Allah, through your Prophet Alayhi Salam, and Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, grant us success. Accept the du'as of the Hazreen in Majlis, any of our deceased family members, our daughters, our mothers, our fathers who have passed away. Ya Allah, grant them the highest level of paradise. Ya Allah, Zawajal, bless our relatives if they're alive and give us the ability to invite them to the weekly sunnah inspiring ijtima. Sallallahu ala nabiyyil ummiyyi wa alihi, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, salatan wa salaman alayki ya Rasulullah, subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon. والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين